a controversial find could rewrite the history of humans in North America. Archaeologists claim to have found evidence an unknown species of human was living on the continent as early as 130,000 years ago, 1,115,000 years earlier than previously thought. Researchers discovered the butchered remains of an enormous mastodon in San Diego, with evidence of chips and fractures made by early humans, but they admit they don't know if they were Homo sapiens, Homo erectus, Neanderthals, or something else. The findings could dramatically revise the timeline for when humans first reached North America, although many researchers are skeptical of the find, claiming there are issues with the dating technique used, and many questions over the research. The mastodon remains were discovered at the Cherudi Mastodon site, in San Diego, by paleontologists from the San Diego Natural History Museum, during routine work in 1992. Bones, tusks and molars, many of which had signs that they were deliberately damaged, were found deeply buried alongside large stones that appeared to have been used as hammers and anvils. Miss Judy Gradwell, CEO of the San Diego Natural History Museum, said, This discovery is rewriting our understanding of when humans reached the New World. The evidence we found at this site, indicates that some hominin species was living in North America 115,000 years, earlier than previously thought. This raises intriguing questions about how these early humans arrived here and who they were. The earlier date means the bone smashers were not necessarily members of our own species, Homo sapiens. The researchers speculate that these early Californians could have instead been species known only from fossils in Europe, Africa and Asia, Neanderthals, a little-known group called Denisovans, or another human forerunner named Homo erectus. The very honest answer is, we don't know, said Stephen Holan, lead author of the paper, and director of the non-profit Center for American Paleolithic Research in Hot Springs, South Dakota. No remains of any individuals were found. Whoever they were, they could have arrived by land or sea. They might have come from Asia via the Beringia land bridge, that used to connect Siberia to Alaska, or maybe come across by watercraft along the Beringia coast or across open water to North America, before turning southward to California, Holland said in a telephone interview. Holland and others present their evidence in a paper released Wednesday, by the journal Nature. Not surprisingly, the report was met by skepticism from other experts who don't think there is enough proof. However, many are skeptical of the find, and the dating methods used. This is a really extraordinary claim, Jean-Jacques Hublin at the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Leipzig told The Guardian. There are questions about everything. If the results stand up to further scrutiny, this does indeed change everything we thought we knew, said Chris Stringer of the Natural History Museum in London. Neanderthals and Denisovans are the most likely identities of the visitors, he said. But, many of us will want to see supporting evidence of this ancient occupation from other sites, before we abandon the conventional model of a first arrival by modern humans within the last 15,000 years, he wrote in an email. Some skeptics suggested alternative explanations, about the material excavated beginning in 1992, at a freeway construction site, suggesting the bones may have been broken recently by heavy construction equipment, rather than by ancient humans. The researchers are unsure who these humans were, or where they went to after butchering the mastodon bones. They could have been Neanderthals, a species that was known to be living in Africa and Europe at the time. Until recently, the oldest records of human sites in North America were about 15,000 years old. But the fossils from the Cherudi Mastodon site were found embedded in fine-grained sediments that had been deposited much earlier, during a period long before humans were thought to have arrived on the continent. Dr. Tom Demmer, an author of the study, said, When we first discovered the site, there was strong physical evidence that placed humans alongside extinct Ice Age megafauna. This was significant in and of itself and a first in San Diego County. Since the original discovery, dating technology has advanced to enable us to confirm with further certainty that early humans were here significantly earlier than commonly accepted. Since its initial discovery in late 1992, this site has been the subject of research by scientists to date the fossils accurately and evaluate microscopic damage on the bones and rocks. In 2014, 
Dr. James Paces, a research geologist with the U.S. Geological Survey, used radiometric dating methods to determine that the mastodon bones were 130,000 years old. The researchers believe they have enough evidence to conclude that the damage to the bones was made by humans and not animals. During a press briefing, Dr. Steve Holan, lead author of the study, said, We have conducted two experiments breaking elephant bones with large rock hammers, and we produced exactly the same kinds of fracture patterns that we see at the Taruti Mastodon site. We have also excavated sites in the Central Great Plains, for the past 25 years that have the same types of fracture patterns on mastodon limb bones. Again, they are found in very fine-grained geological deposits. So we can eliminate all of the natural processes that break bones, such as carnivore chewing, or other animals trampling on them. Previous studies have suggested that humans migrated to America via a land bridge from Asia to North America, although the researchers are unsure if this is still the case. Unfortunately, the finding poses a lot more questions than answers, and the researchers have been unable to determine who these early people were. Dr. Holland said, There's no doubt in my mind this is an archaeological site. The bones and several teeth show clear signs of having been deliberately broken by humans with manual dexterity and experiential knowledge. This breakage pattern has also been observed at mammoth fossil sites in Kansas and Nebraska, where alternative explanations such as geological forces or gnawing by carnivores have been ruled out. The specimens recovered from the site will be on display at the museum from today.